Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. We're going to be working on our extended fleet today a little bit more. It's going to be a mining vessel and uh, it's, it's just going to be the light kind of early beginning ship that you might have when you're first landing on a planet or starting out a base. Um, I don't plan to make any giant, uh, massive, super efficient, um, what I consider to be a little bit of an overkill. I, I, I want to be a little bit more RP-esque with these builds. So uh, compact, tight, only two cargo containers, if that a lot of the times. Um, but here, beginning stages, um, it's a really good idea to go ahead and get some decent placement for your thrusters. Um, you want good coverage, especially for mining ships um, on the vertical forward and um, front facing thrusters. Uh, you don't need so much from side to side, though definitely necessary because when you're mining underground, you can kind of get a little disoriented. And so when you tilt, you want to be able to um, stay afloat for the most part. But uh, um, definitely due to the weight of these vehicles, uh, the larger the thruster, the better. We're gonna have extending arms forward. Um, normally I don't extend my drills this far ahead of the ship. Um, in fact, we're actually kind of breaking a little bit of convention when it comes to these mining vessels um, because normally uh, the, the, concessions, the consensus would be to um, go ahead and make sure you have drills kind of covering the whole width of your vehicle. So you can just hold down the drill button and kind of just slowly drive forward and you're gonna make a perfect tunnel that your ship will perfectly fit into. And that's about it. Um, to do that with this type of sized ship, uh, you would need to uh, either make it really long, a little bit longer and not quite as wide or as tall. And we might actually need three drills to achieve such a thing. I'm not a big fan of the tri-drill design when it comes to mining vessels. I just I just like my two arms, you know, you just give them a good old left and a right onto the ground and dig your way through. So that's kind of what we're going for here. And again, I'm not all about efficiency. Um, it, it's just gonna be a little bit RP-esque. So, uh, you know, just have to contend with that consistently. Uh, unlike the LSX-11, we aren't using landing uh, wheels. So this will just have the standard landing gear. Trying to build some um, bays for them so it looks like they could actually retract a little bit. Again, that's just something I really want in Space Engineers. Still don't know why it's not in. It's just working retractable landing legs so that we can keep those profiles nice and tight while we're flying through the air. But alas, how to grass. Um, we got some lights going in. I also want some crossbars probably connecting from these um, winglets. I'm gonna call them winglets, they're actually drill arms. So from the drill arms to the main body, that way they have just some additional connection points because right now they are pretty vulnerable to, you know, getting lopped off. So we're just gonna use these little corner blocks just to kind of create a cylinder-esque type of shape. Uh, the best you can kind of do with square-ish blocks. Though, I guess there is round blocks in the game nowadays. I always tend to forget about those. Thinking about it, if I look at all my designs, I always use angular blocks. I wonder why, I wonder if that's just because I liked the Lego look of it all. I don't know. Um, I never really messed with the round or curved ones, so we might have to think about doing that for the next ship we make. At this point, just gonna extend the skeletal frame out of the vessel. Um, now, you don't want very wide winglets when it comes to your mining ships. Uh, it kind of comes back to trying to keep that profile as close to the drills as possible. But I do want some, just so it looks like it could have at least a bit of lift when it comes to them. I know it's probably not gonna provide really any, so that's that's kind of normal to be expected. We're running on battery power, just like the other ship, um, but there will be a little bit of reactors in here just to kind of kickstart it. Um, I, that's gonna be a very common design theme, I think, with a lot of these little vessels. Uh, next episode, by the way, I want you guys to let me know what you wanna see made, whether that's a mining ship, uh, maybe a small transport vehicle, what have you. Um, but generally, what most people will start out with is a mining vessel and a slight combat vessel. That's what we're covering now. 
but uh, always free for your guys' ideas and suggestions. I kind of wanted to potentially have a bit of a, a tail on this thing just to make it look like it's a little bit more atmospheric. Uh, however, with the thruster damage turned on, it turns out that uh, probably not gonna work out. So we just go with uh, some additional kind of armor plating around, right? We gotta protect the engines because when you're down there in the, in the mines, you can kind of bump into some rocks and take some damage and then you lose an engine and then you fall to the ground and you kind of get stuck. So a definitely a good idea to armor up some of your engine bays there so that they can take the brunt of it, um, even on the right and left side. So not only do these provide some fake atmospheric lift because we don't, we're not using that mod for these builds, um, it just looks a little bit more proper. Uh, we're gonna try and cover up some of the piping as well um, and leave some of it exposed. Uh, to be honest, I think um, having exposed piping is pretty cool and industrial um, that way. Um, it looks like a workhorse kind of vessel and can actually kind of uh, look like it can do the job that it's meant to be doing. But uh, yeah, right now, feels, to be honest, from the back, to me, makes me think of, uh, shoot, what's the Star, Star Wars ship? It's, it's the one, um, it's the uh, one, one in the snow that will go around and, and tie up the legs of an at, -AT. Um, and I guess people call it ad -Ads. But, um, what is that called? I don't know why I'm blinking on it. Anyways, it looks kind of like that. Uh, now that I'm actually re-watching the footage, um, I wonder if I was pulling from that imagery a little bit. It's kind of funny when you do make creative builds where some designs get pulled from subconsciously and uh, how they kind of play together. So, a little bit of a visual library thing. Now, we're just adding some final details you know, the antenna, the ore detectors, some lighting, um, and just making sure the ship's going to function. Um, we'll also have to probably color the ship. We'll have to test the ship to make sure uh, everything is going to work, especially under weight. Again, this thing is not going to be really a heavy lifting mining vessel. Um, in fact, we're really only gonna test the mining here in the speed build section. Uh, not in the real time section because you know it just takes a little while to really test out so at this point we're just kind of increasing the weight a whole bunch so that we can really see you know what's the limitations of the vessel how much weight um, is this thing going to be qualified for and how efficiently does it dig as you can see we really have to kind of dig down widen up the hole dig down widen up the hole um, that's a pretty pretty standard sign of usually what seems to be a poor design um, it looks like about 256k ice um, is actually the weight limit. And so upon discovery of that, we add just a couple more thrusters just to cr increase that a little ways. Um, only two medium cargo containers in this. I doubt anyone's going to really ever fill the whole thing up. Um, frankly, it's just not designed to carry that much weight. We're going to also build some lights, some black, some blinking lights, just like some of our other vessels. In fact, I'm gonna be trying a little bit harder than normal to get some working kind of thematic lights going on these ships, I think is important. So we're gonna have, you know, red and green lights for the winglets. We're going to have orange kind of hazardish lights for the general surrounding so that people can tell when this thing is working. It'll have its standard kind of front facing beam lights for seeing in dark tunnels. Um, and you'll be able to control all these, toggle them on and off at will. So you can toggle on and off the you know hazard lights and just have the normal winglet lights on um, and then toggle, toggle that so that people know you're kind of mining and maybe don't stand in front of the drill bits anymore. That's generally a good sign. Uh, the color scheme for this ship, I was thinking about doing it in the really dark kind of gunmetal gray and white, just like the scout ship. However, um, I think it wouldn't really look too industrial. So instead of white, we're gonna go with this kind of um, mm, toned down yellow in most places. You can see we were gonna try and do, you know, just white here on the winglets. Um, I end up just not liking that because having a three-tone vessel, 
Um, I think it's good. It's good to kind of do things in threes, but um, I, I just don't think it added anything. I think it made the thing more busy looking rather than kind of highlighting some of the areas. So uh, what we're gonna do with this industrial ship is make the winglets yellow, make all the utility portions such as engines, batteries, drills, um, conveyor tubes, uh, gyros, um, all that stuff yellow. So that kind of signals that it is utility and um, keep everything else gray. So with that, that's it for today's speed build. Boy, we have uh, quite a little fleet of ships, don't we, nowadays? Here is the finished little mining um, personnel drone, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I haven't really come up with a name, so if you guys want to name it in the comments, go ahead. Um, again, we have the LSX-11, which is our scout ship. Um, I, I like kind of putting LS in there because light scout. This one, I guess, would if someone can incorporate an M for mining vessel uh that would be good for the naming convention <clears throat> anyways so this is what we came up with it's a bit bulky um definitely taking some winglet design from the uh, lsx11 there and you know plenty of lights i like the exposed little kind of roundabout wrapping around conveyor systems going across this thing we got some blinking lights i colored it to this yellow and kind of dark gray it's a uh, very much like a bumblebee type of color palette uh, if silent night's watching i'm sure it'll reminiscent him of the hornet um a little bit there over on the right you guys can see some variations of this uh, those were actually my first attempts at this build that uh, i ended up just deleting the footage of because i mean there's no sense showing something that never really got done um but here we are, it's got a uh, you know, little antenna off the back, which is nicely placed there, giving a little bit of a detail there. We got plenty of batteries and it does have plenty of power to fly around. Now, I doubt you're ever really gonna fill its cargo hold. It doesn't have enough thrust to really do that. These type of vessels for me are always a, um, I guess an early game start or something that you would bring on to like a larger carrier to um, send out multiple people to gather resources. So again, it doesn't hold a crazy amount um, due to the thrust limitations of the vehicle, but it's definitely pretty good. We have actual landing gear on this one. Like, uh, unlike the LSX-11 that has the wheeled gear, this one, just the standard. Um, I didn't think it required anything really more than that in this situation. Though, um, if you guys want to retrofit it with the LSX-11 kind of landing style, that would be fine. They're just a little bulky, um, and I wanted to try and keep this profile as compact and as dense as possible. Early on, I did want it, you know, people to be able to access the undercarriage. So you can get down here. It's a little tricky <laughs> sometimes to get in and out of it. Um, and there for a while I wanted people to get access to the front side too so they could get into the cockpit that way But luckily it is a low enough profile that uh, you're not really going to run into the problem to get inside of it Because you can kind of just walk in between here uh, You know you can even probably jump up on top of it somehow if that's something you want to do uh, Out the back we have you know the starter reactor This is going to be kind of a common design in a lot of our ships probably um, is to have a reactor out the back so you can kind of get it going and uh, then you can kind of dock it up to your base so that it can uh, charge the batteries. Heavy thruster design, very similar kind of design to, to uh, the scout ship as well. You can see two heavy thrusters facing uh, backwards there, um, except for this one is, well, it's almost like a dual engine design. Um, so the engines kind of flow up and out that way. Um, I like the exposed venting. That's pretty cool. For some reason, I left these ones colored white. I'll have to go back and fix that. We got blinking lights. Um, you know, the red and green sides are blinking, signaling which side of uh, the vessel you might be looking at. It's also got some work kind of hazard lights just so people can stay clear of it. We'll go ahead and... Take off here 
And you can see that, uh, you know, it's not the most agile ship in the world, but it can putt around at a decent clip. And if I'm sure if you are playing with, say, a um, mod that increases the maximum speed, I'm sure most people play with such mods nowadays, um, you know, you'll, you'll kind of notice that you're going to need some stopping time for sure, even though it has all these kind of large thrusters going around it. I'm not going to do any mining with it this episode, just because, I mean, it's a mining ship. I think everyone kind of knows what it does. There's no need to really show that off. It doesn't have any thrusters facing overhead, so uh, you can't fly this upside down in mine. So keep that in mind when you are digging. Uh, your orientation is going to be pretty important there. Go ahead and shut it off. Show you the hot bar a little bit. So we do have uh, pressing three. We'll turn the kind of winglet lights on and off and five is your hazard kind of warning lights as well. Now uh, pressing L will turn on the uh, headlights for the drills. So that is pretty much our little mining vessel here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Space Engineers. It was a fun little build. Um, you know, the cross member going across the front there. It looks pretty industrial. I'm okay with it. Um, if you guys want, share what you guys build in the comment section. Uh, get some ideas out there. And subscribe for more creative content such as this. Hit that like button. Follow me on Twitter for updates on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.